Hello homeowners, Brian Schweitke here, realtor and creator of the Stay or Go Homeowner System, and today's puzzle piece is selling a home as is. And there's only one way to sell a home as is, and that's telling the buyers what as is actually is through inspections and disclosures. We need to get a home inspection, pest inspection, roof inspection, and any other inspection we need to tell the buyers what as is actually is. They're worth their weight in gold, and what that's going to do is put all of our cards on the table full disclosure, and it's also going to let us know what we might want to do to get the home ready for the market, and it's also going to eliminate any surprises and renegotiating down the road. It used to be buyer beware, it's now seller beware. We have to have the seller disclosing everything they possibly know about the home. So, the first inspection we're going to get is a home inspection. It takes a couple of hours. Uh, they're going to need access to the attic and the crawl space. This is going to be great because we're going to have a nice big report. Full disclosure to the buyers. They'll know everything that's wrong with the home. Then we can make some repairs. And the cost of the report can actually be billed to escrow. You don't have to pay that until you get your money or proceeds from your home. And then you'll pay the home inspection report. The pest inspection, same thing, takes a couple of hours, same access, they're usually there on the same day at the same time. Full disclosure to the buyers, we can make some repairs before we go on the market or before maybe we wanna do some painting and we can bill that to escrow. Now there's two types of things you're gonna see in the pest inspection report. There are section one items, which is an active infestation of dry wood termites, subterranean termites, or dry rot. And then there's section two items that are maybe future issues on down the road to take uh, into consideration. Now, after we've given them these inspection reports, it's time for the seller to tell the buyer everything that they know about the home. And that's done through a transfer disclosure statement and a seller's property questionnaire. That's 10 pages of yes, no questions of you saying everything that you know about the home. In addition, we're gonna need a double strapped water heater, a smoke detector in every sleeping area and a carbon monoxide detector on every floor. There'll be a natural hazards disclosure statement ordered by the title company, a lead-based paint disclosure, all of the HOA documents. If you're in a homeowners association, that's another disclosure. And then the preliminary title report, which is very important for you to review. Some tips and tricks for you. Over disclose. If you're going to ask me a question like, should I disclose this? It's something you need to disclose. Over disclose so that you never have the buyers coming back in the future saying, this is something you probably knew about and you didn't tell me about it and now I want retribution. Another very important thing, like I said, review that preliminary title report. You want to see who's on title, what liens there are, any encroachments or easements or bylaws, things that you want to disclose. Those are not bulletproof. I've seen errors in preliminary title reports before, so make sure you review that before you give it to the buyer. Be careful with Section 1 items because the buyer's lender is not going to want to hear a whole lot about the fact that the house they're lending a bunch of money on has termites and dry rot. Most important thing, do not accept any offer from any buyer or anyone until they've seen all of these disclosures, the inspection reports and what you know about the property, because any new finding opens up or uh, renegotiations, because every California Association of Realtors contract is says as is until something new is found, and that's our goal, is to let them know everything up front before they place their offer so there's nothing they can come back on us at. Another thing to be very leery of, Please don't sell your house to some realtor who comes to your door, who says they'll buy it as is, all cash, quick close, and keep you away from all these other realtors and all the open houses and all people coming through your home and exposing it to the world. All they wanna do is get your house for a very cheap price with no competition. It's not the best thing to do, it's a big scam. Okay, more puzzle pieces are coming in the future. The best home preparations for your money. Uh, the importance of downsizing and staging, the entire real estate transaction timeline, purchasing a new or out of the area home. There's a lot of things you need to do before you pull the trigger there. Retaining your current property taxes and transferring to another county, and also either renting out your house for cash flow versus selling your house for a cash out. Now, if you wanna watch more puzzle piece videos or you wanna schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, you can go to stayorgohomeowner.com. There's a ton of free information there. And thanks for listening and I wish you luck and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye-bye.